G'day, it's Robbie again. You know, you can never have too many tools in your workshop and, you know, quite often you see tools for sale or tools get old, even old tools getting tossed out in the footpath and they're really crappy and they're not worth anything really and you've almost certainly got a better version of the same thing. And uh, one thing in particular that is really worth picking up cheap, if you can get them dirt cheap, you can make stuff out of mighty old half inch drives. Now here's one here, I picked up off the side of the road, someone threw out. I got a rag over it because I started working on this and I, wasn't, uh, I started doing the video, uh, doing the job, I thought oh maybe someone would be interested to see a video on this so I'll, I've covered over what I've done for now but all will be revealed. Anyway, so there's a crappy old um, speed um, brace that uh, it's not very well made and uh, it's no good to me and I was going to give it the brother-in-law but he's got one anyway so I just chucked it under the bench. Anyway, I was working on the Ducati yesterday doing some pretty hard to get at stuff on it. Had to get in the electrics on it and it was hard to sort of get stuff off um, with the normal brace and ratchets and stuff. So I thought, oh, you know, I really want something I can get in close with. Um, and you can get those little ratchet, those little ratchet uh, adapters, that, just like a little handheld thing, and you can sort of get in and you can unscrew stuff. But then again, they're too fat to get into really tight jobs. You want something really, really small that you can get in and uh, undo stuff. And anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to repur repurpose this, this old speed drive. And uh, before I do, I'll just show you some of the other things you can do with old half, well, old whatever size drives you use. I use pretty, pretty much all half inch. And here's a good one that's really worth doing. And years ago, I made this up. And I'll give you a close-up on what that is. This is one of the first things I ever made up out of an old uh, extension bar or whatever it was. I think it was an extension bar that had been bent or it was crappy. I forget what it was. And what this is... I've turned it down and it's now a, we can pretty much see what it is, it's got a, a three bladed, a three flats on the end and basically what this does and what this is used for is to turn over, spin over small engines I'm working on. So say you've got a little motor, you know, single cylinder motor you want to check the compression on, you don't want to be pulling over by hand trying to do it. Uh, you spin it over, use electric drill, this just goes in the chuck, you just put a socket on the end, and then you're good to go, you can just spin over your motor with a, a electric, big electric drill to check the uh, compression, check the electronic, electrics, magneto, see if it's sparking, and even to start, try and start the motor if the carby settings are all up the creek. So these are really good, so that's a good thing to make out of an old extension bar. When I made this, well, 30 years ago at least, you couldn't buy this sort of stuff, it just wasn't available, but I think you can pretty sure you can get stuff now, uh, drives which, which do take sockets, mainly I think they came about because of people using uh, screws to screw down uh, roofing iron and stuff, so a lot more people, and cordless of course, um, cordless drills and stuff, so they use drive, drive sockets uh, now, and now much more than they ever did before. Okay. So that was the first thing, and this is probably one of the best things you can make out of an old, a crappy old uh, extension bar or, uh, or an old speed drive like this. Okay, so what am I going to do with the speed drive? Well, I'll show you. So, we unveil the magnificent bit of work. Ta da There you go. So what have I done? Well, I've cut the old drive off. And I've cleaned it up. It was uh, to do the sort of job you have to just get everything uniform. Uh, I've knurled a uh, a nice pattern on it, and I'm going to use it to get into stuff, get, get sockets uh, to get uh, nuts and bolts started by hand. So it's going to be a little, just a little uh, uh, adapter so I can get in and uh, and pull stuff up. Now, uh, you can buy like little ratchet versions of these things that they're fairly fat, that's the trouble. And if you want to get in somewhere tight, they're too fat to get in. And a lot of, the, that's the trouble, a lot of the stuff, you can get in something with a diameter 
of the socket, but you can't get any ratchets or anything in there. So you want something to get in there, get it up as far as you can by hand, and then get the socket bar in if you can get an extension bar and, and do it up from a distance. So I'm pretty much finished on this. <laughs> I, you know, I've just about done the job. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, drill a hole through the end here. And I'd already started cutting this when I made up my mind to do a video. I'm going to cut out this section here, even though it's a bit out of shape. I mean, the whole thing's really crappily made. And I'm going to then um, clean up the ends, get the ends done, and then I'm going to turn it down and make a little a little Tommy bar out of it, a little crossbar to go through here. So basically, this will have a, a little molly die bendum. This is what this stuff is. Bar, which will be removable. And I'll be able to put that in there. So do up the stuff finger tight up in the cavity. And then you can just get your little crossbar in there and just, uh, being you know, removable, you can just put it in and just crank it up. So basically, it should turn into a, a nice little unit, a better looking unit than that. And at a pinch with a crossbar out, you could also just stick it in the electric drill and use it as a driver. I mean, the jaws will mark it being soft. That's the trouble with Molly Dibendum. Jaws will mark it. Even though it's tough, it's, it's sort of soft and gummy in a way. So, but you could use that as a speed drive, as a driver in your electric drill. It would work just as good. So that's the bit to do. All I've got to do is you cut, cut out this get it all nice and true and then just reduce it down and make it uh, into a crossbar. You know, at the end of the day I have a, a nice looking little tool um, and it'll be pretty useful I think. There okay, go, that's the plan. Okay, so we've cut out the centre and we use that for a little um, crossbar. It's longer than the end bit, so we got the maximum we could out of there, but it really could be. It's just long enough. And I've drilled through on the end, that's going to be our little, our little wrench, wrench bar. And also now I'll just make up a machine this down to uh, to fit as the crossbar, job done. Nice little uh, handy tool. So uh, I'll be using the collets and the lathe to turn this down and I'll finish it off with the shear tool. Uh, that'll do a beautiful job. I'll use the shear tool on that and you can see the finish is fantastic. Uh, shear tool, very good, very good. So yeah, this crappy old bit of junk tooling uh, will make a nice little, uh, a nice little wrench. Right. Right, well I've got the crossbar set up in the uh, ER32 collets on the Chinese lathe and uh, just swapped over the, the fittings, took the chuck off. But this will work, you can't beat collets because they won't mark anything. You can reposition work, you can uh, put knurled stuff in them. It's great, everything will be um, sanded. No marking, so what I'll do, I've still got the shear tool in there from the last operation. These are great, you want to check that video I showed you, uh, I did on the uh, shear tools. Great, great, great finishing tool. And good for very, very finely reducing stuff. So I'm going to get this little, little crossbar down as tight as I can get it. Snug fit and I'll just do that with the uh, shear tool. But for now I'll just use carbide, this uh, little carbide cutter here, and I'll just get it down. I've got nothing to spare here, I'm going to have to use every bit of this, so I'm going to have to machine it down to the size I want and then at the end turn it around and just do the, finish the end off. Um, and that'll be it, it'll be just long enough to do the job, be about right. So um, slightly longer would have been a little bit better, but anyway, we'll do this for now and if I get another piece I might make it a little bit longer next time, but certainly you can, you know, reuse all this old crap. Right, well I'll swap over the cutters and put it onto coarse feed and uh, rip it off. This once again, this is where quick change gearbox on a lathe is a great thing to have because you can just do all your roughing up 
in no time at all just tear it off doesn't matter about the finish and then just flick it over onto the uh, medium do a better finish and then flick it over to fine and run through with your shear tool no rooting around with cogs and all the rest of this business so if you ever buy a lathe if you can do it and it's not always possible with really small lathes because not many come with a quick change gearbox but if you're going to buy a lathe and it's a bigger lathe yeah it's got to have a quick, quick change gearbox or it's, it's just going to be a pain in the ass. right we'll move on Course, take their travel. Just got enough. Just rip it off. Well, here's the finished article. Not bad. A little slide bar goes across. And you can just uh, do it up. I think I might do another hole this way as well, so that if I go a quarter of a turn, half a turn, I can then put it in and use it, you know, go around in small increments. Might as well have it going both ways, so I'll machine back that a little bit further to make room for it. And uh, once again, I'll put this in the collet. The collet will hold this no problem on the knurling, won't mark it. And I'll just take that back a fraction and then I'll just drill another hole. Yeah, not bad. Well, here she is, the final product. Didn't turn out too bad. Not bad, I suppose, for a backyarder. But, uh, yeah, it's nice to have a knurling gadget. They're really handy you know so I can use that just to do up on my fingers and I can put the little crossbar in and tighten her up and uh, it'll be good for those hard to get out areas that uh, you can't get a ratchet in and you can't get uh, a bar in necessarily so I could have used it yesterday when I was working on the Ducati on the electrical system I had to take the horn off and I had a devil's own job getting in it was very tight that uh, this would have been perfect in fact, that's what got me thinking about it. I thought I really could do with something like that. Anyway, that's it. Only a bit of crap left over. Like going to the bench. It uh, might be handy for something one day. But, yeah, it's a neat little gadget. Okay, that's it for me. Time for a beer. See you guys next time. Cheers.